if today if today is your first time of joining us on praise time you are welcome this is where we thank god for all he has been doing for us for what he's done and for what he will do today um encouraging us to thank him because i believe as we we'll thank him as we we'll praise him we do great thing we do exceedingly abundant last we've read in the psalm the other time we read psalm 134 praise the lord all ye servants of the lord who minister in the night in the house of the Lord. He said, lift up your hands and praise his name. By the time we get to verse 3, he said, may the Lord bless you from Zion. So as we praise him, we believe that he will bless us. That's not the main reason why we need to praise him, because he will bless us. We need to praise him for who he is, because he's God and he's God alone. There's no one that can be like God. He's the one that created the heavens and the earth and everything therein. And I'm encouraging you as you go this week, go in the might of God and keep on praising him. I don't know what you're looking for. I want you to know that help is on the way. Help is on the way. The Bible says in Psalm 121 that I will lift up my eyes onto the hills from where comes my help. But help comes from the Lord. He's the one that makes the heaven and the earth. He has the power to create that thing. He has the power to create a new thing. Say, behold, I will create a new thing. So he has the power to do that. Just believe in him. Hold on to him. And he will show himself strong in your life. Only trust in him. If you don't know him, it's an opportunity for you to know him. If you know him and you are wavering, it's an opportunity to stay and fix your eyes on him. I want to read um, Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4, he's talk, uh, I want to read from verse 22 to 24. He's talking about a new man. You coming back to him, changing your ways. I read from NIV, Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 22 says, You were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds and to put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness so as you go this way put it at the back of your mind that i want to walk in the newness of god i want to be like god in true righteousness and holiness ask for the help of god that god should help you to be truthful to be holy to be just like him in everything we do i'm praying for this as well that god should help me and uphold me Last week, I can come on here and say, yes, I'm so good. Last week was so good for me. In fact, last week, um, something got my way and I was really, really, really angry. Yeah, I work with some people. We have to work together and some of them, um, they kind of let me down basically. And I was furious. I was ready to, to give it back to them, to show them that just because I'm dead too, I'm not stupid. I was ready. I was ready to call, to send a text message and just let them know that what you did is wrong and this is how it should be done. I was ready to explode. And I just spoke to a friend and that friend said, man, you don't need that. You don't need that. Calm down. You don't need that. You don't need to fight. You don't need to, to, to step on people's toes just because of that. I was ready to blast. But thank God for good friend you know, friends around, uh, that person just gave me that advice and I, and I calmed down, like, yeah, I look at it indeed, like, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I don't say don't fight for your right, you can fight for your right, but when you think deeply that why am I doing this, why am I fighting, what is going to be the end result? At the end of the day, I look at it like, you know, let me just calm down and I was able to calm. I'm just saying, as you go this week, don't let anger rule you, don't let things that doesn't have my mouth control you we have the power to control situation even to control our emotions like anger like happiness you can attract joy you can attract happiness with what you do so instead of you to focus on the negative things rather focus on the good things and thank god for that good thing and you see how your week is going to be put on that new mind put on that um, lightness we're talking about, put on that holiness and keep thanking God and your week is going to be great. Help is on the way as you praise him. Help is on the way as you're doing good. Psalm 121, as we've read there, if you're going through 
trials, tribulations, or anything that you can sort on your own, just look unto Jesus Christ. You know, our help is in the name of the Lord. So go with the might of God. Matthew 11, 28 to 29 saying we should put our yoke on, on him. He will help us. He will help us. He will help you carry that load. And you are thinking that I'm going to die in this. The Bible says you shall not die, but live to declare the glory of the Lord. So go in the might of God and take your place. The Bible says you should be fruitful, multiply, so do you replenish. That is your portion. Don't let anything pull you down as you go this week. That is my message for you this week. So don't let anything put you down. Just focus on God and God alone and keep on thanking him. This is praise time with all fails. I'm going to be playing a song from Shane Ebenezer and it's titled He Is Right Here. Hey, this is your boy Sean Ebenezer. You are listening to AP Radio UK. Don't touch that dive. Relax. Welcome back, it's the old Fields on AP Radio, on MZ Radio, and you're listening to Praise Time, where we thank God for everything he has done for us, for what he's doing, and for what he's going to do. The Bible says, don't be anxious about anything, but with prayer, with supplication, make your request known unto him. Thank him. Don't worry about anything, but thank God for what he has done and pray about it everything philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 yeah today i've been encouraging you to look unto jesus the author and the finisher of your faith to keep your eyes fixed on him as you go this week because we do encourage ourselves as we go this uh, as we go in the week to hold on to something and to walk with that so this week keep on thanking god thank him focus on what he has done for you and focus on his ability to do more because the bible says he's going to do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ever ask or imagine he has the part to do that so focus on, focus on his ability rather than your own capability rather than your own you know qualification or whatever or connection so let's focus on him and thank him and thank him even in advance as we go this week i'm going to be rounded off with uh, um, ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 8 he says better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof and i also want to say that he that has begun a good work in your life, he has the power to bring it to accomplishment. So rely on him. Don't look at where you are or where you're coming from. Look at where he's taking you to. His plan for you is to have a good future, is to give you a hope. He has created you to subdue, to multiply, to be fruitful. Focus on that. Better is the end of a thing. It's not where you are the matter, but the end. But the end, as you rely on him, I believe so much that as you rely on him, as you hold on to him, he's going to take you to that expected end. He's going to take you there in Jesus' mighty name. My name is Old Phils, and it has been an awesome time 
with you on the show. Do catch me up again. It's every nine o'clock UK time from 9 to 10 p.m. on MZ Radio London, also on AP Radio UK. You can join us on our uh, website, www.mzradiolondon.com or on our link, bit.ly forward slash AP Radio UK. You can even download our apps. We have MZ Radio app on all your devices. Just search for MZ Radio London and you can, you know, stream our programs there. God bless you real good. I want to say a very big thank you to everyone tuning in for the first time. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. And to my station manager, Mr. Soji Amwani, thank you for walking behind the scene and to my wife as well. I love you all. Keep on praising God. Don't stop praising up God. Don't give up. Just keep your eyes fixed on him. I'll be signing out with one of my songs. This one is titled Anywhere. Bye. Message. AP Radio. Station with distinction. Distinction.